Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From the Chapters on Charity by Saint Maximus the Confessor. Abbot, without love everything is in vain. Charity is a right attitude of mind which prefers nothing to the knowledge of God. If a man possesses any strong attachment to the things of this earth, he cannot possess true charity. For anyone who really loves God prefers to know and experience God rather than his creatures. The whole set and longing of his mind is ever directed toward him. The Lord himself reminds us whoever loves me will keep my commandments and this is my commandment that you love one another so the man who does not love his neighbor does not obey God's command. But one who does not obey his command cannot love God. A man is blessed if he can love all men equally. Moreover, if he truly loves God, he must love his neighbor absolutely. Such a man cannot hoard his wealth. Rather, like God himself, he generously gives from his own resources to each man according to his needs. For Jeremiah warns us we are the Lord's temple. 
neither should you say, Faith alone in our Lord Jesus Christ can save me. By itself, faith accomplishes nothing. For even the devils believe and shudder. No, faith must be joined to an active love of God, which is expressed in good works. The charitable man is distinguished by sincere and long-suffering service to his fellow man. It also means using things aright. From the desert. With desert faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.